Hey lifers, it's me Jay. I just wanted to check in with you guys today. Um, I just got out of the shower so my hair is super wet so sorry if you see that dripping everywhere. Anywho, um, today has been a roller coaster. <laughs> I was going to say a good day but it's it's really been a roller coaster. Um, yesterday... My husband decided to buy two large pizzas. Two large pizzas. I can't even talk today. I did really good though. I did not eat any pizza yesterday. I ate my crawfish and called it a night. But this morning. <laughs> this morning it's like those pizzas were calling my name. And they were there. They were available. They were ready. And dun 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 dun. I cheated. I cheated on my fast, you guys. About 10 o'clock today, I ate a slice and a half of pizza. That is not what I had planned for my cheat meal. I don't even love pizza like that. <sighs> While I was doing it, like, I wasn't even thinking about it. It was just, like, automatic. Like, those old habits just came back. There's food in the fridge. It's already ready. All I have to do is heat it in the microwave. You're hungry? Just eat. Nope. That's not the way to be. Not in order to keep up with my goals. Uh-uh. I did not feel well after I ate that pizza. You guys, my stomach hurt. That was not what I wanted for the cheat meal. I wanted something delicious and that pizza was just okay and available. Oh. But since then, I have eaten nothing. <laughs> I haven't eaten anything. Um, I did a workout today. I did, um, I was, I can't remember her name, Lisa or Leslie. I think it's Leslie. Leslie Sansone, I believe. Um, I did her walk at home 3k today and I completed all of it. You guys, I felt like I was on top of the world on top of the world. When I started working out, I could only do the 15 minute one mile video. And after that, I was just done exhausted, exhausted, nothing else for me for the rest of the day. That's it. Finito finished. But today I did the walk at home. Uh, 3k. I guess this workout is supposed to be the equivalent of uh, Did I say 3k? I said fi it's 5k you guys. I'm I'm so sorry. I Keep trying to convert it in my head 5k is about three miles <laughs> So Sorry about that. I did the walk at home 5k Um, But you guys I was so excited. I was super excited. It was definitely a push for me um, at, When I started working out I don't know. I just didn't want to do it. So like I usually do, I got up um, after I ate that pizza because I wasn't going to work out today at all, but I ate that pizza. So after I did it, I was like, oh, I could just do one of these miles. In the video, she counts down um, all three of the miles. So like the first mile, I think is like 12 minutes or something like that. And then there's another 12 minutes and then there's another 12 minutes. <laughs> Um, but after that first mile, I was like, okay, I should have worked off about half of that pizza. You know, I'll be all right. <laughs> I can quit now. I was so tired and, and I didn't stretch. So my muscles were not awake. So everything seemed like it took a lot more energy than it should have. But after that first mile, I was like, you know what? I did that first mile and the time went by so fast. Let's do the second mile. So I'm doing the second mile and I am exhausted. I am exhausted. And then out of nowhere, I got this huge burst of energy. I felt like she was talking to me right through the screen. She was like, you can do this. You're not tired. That's not pain. That's progress. And I was like, yeah, yeah, this is progress. Let's get it done. This is progress. She's talking to me. And I pushed through it. I pushed through it and I made it all the way through. I won't say all the way through because I did not, I did not stay around for that cool down. But I made it the three miles. <laughs> that cool down came and I dipped out. I was like, oh, oh. this walk to my room and back is going to have to be my cool down. I have to stop doing that though because I know that warm ups and cool downs are very important um, to prevent injury. 
So I don't want an injury and then set me all the way back and then I'm back to, to doing the 15, struggling to do the 15 minute workout like I was before. So I need to make sure that I keep up, uh, keep consistent with uh, stretching and warming up and doing a cool down. But I was elated, you guys. I was on top of the world. I felt like a warrior, a champion. Like nobody can tell me anything, nothing. No one can tell me anything. Um, so that was my little um, victory for today. Um, even though I cheated on my fast and I ate at 10 a.m. with some... Y'all, that pizza was not even that good. Why did it call my name? I need pizza to forget my name. Why did it call my name? That pizza was not that great. Bye, pizza. Ugh. I hate that I did that. I really do. But it's so easy to fall back into those old habits and do things without even thinking and have it just be so automatic, you know? Um, but like I said, I did get an extra workout in because I don't usually work out on the weekend. I usually do something with my husband and kids. My husband works a lot, a lot, a lot. So usually the weekend is the only time that we all get to spend together as a family. He and I get to spend some time together a little bit during the week, um, before or after the kids go to bed. But the, there's not a lot of time that we get to all spend together. So I usually spend whatever, um the weekends doing something with with them so I got that extra workout in today and it surprised me it felt great it felt really 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 good I was really happy about that like I said I haven't eaten anything since that pizza that pizza was at 10 a.m. and it's probably around 3 3 30 right now um I didn't purposely not eat anything I just got a horrible phone call not great news about um my mom's health. She's in the hospital right now and that kind of that kind of took my high all the way down to uh, super low. Um but you know what the good thing about it is? Um we all go through the things in life. We can't stop life from happening around us. And today I didn't I didn't pick up more food to comfort me. I didn't I didn't go in there and get more pizza or anything else for that matter. I didn't use food as a comfort um my husband had come in from taking my car to get an oil change and um he just hugged me and held me for a while and that that was the best comfort ever and i didn't think about it in the moment but i'm happy i'm happy that i didn't go through a drive through or go raid the kids ice cream in the in the freezer or something like that uh so that's still that's still progress, even though that was that was really, really crappy news and it put me in a really bad place. Um and I'm still still kind of thinking about it. So I didn't go that long without eating, like I said, on purpose, but I was just kind of busy with other things and it, eating was the last thing on my mind, honestly. But I thought I'd tell you guys about that. Um, I don't have a plan for dinner right now. So I don't know if I'll be having a cheat meal or not today. If uh, whatever I decide, I'll let you guys know. But right now that's not that's not in the cards. Um, or really it's up in the air because I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. But um, what I am going to work on is food prep. I am learning with these um, impulsive decisions that I'm making that I think that that's something that is really important for me to do. The thing is, I feel like I'm going to have to find um, things that I can freeze because I have to mix it up. I'm not a person who can eat the same thing every day. I'll get bored with it and that'll drive me insane. And that'll drive me to high calorie food. And I don't want that. So I have to look up some recipes or if any of you guys have any recipes of things that I can meal prep and freeze, things that are healthy, that would be awesome if you could leave some in the some ideas in the comments. But I think that'll be really good for me. It'll stop a lot of my impulsivity. I told y'all I can't talk today. I cannot talk today. <sighs> Got a lot of things on my mind, but yeah. 
I think that I'll just do that this afternoon, look up a couple of things that I can prepare for myself and have on hand so that when I'm feeling really hungry and it's within my fast times to eat, I can just grab it out of the fridge and, and microwave it. I have a couple of things here, but they're not they're not things that are prepared. Everything is in the refrigerator I have to put together or make. It'll be nice to have a couple of things on hand that I can just take out and I know they're good for me and they won't blow, uh, completely blow my diet. But I am going to go. I hope you all are having a great day and doing something to accomplish whatever goals you have for yourself. I'll see you guys later. Um, I probably won't post again until Monday. I think I'm going to take Sunday to um, just spend some time with family. I'll probably go up and see my mom and spend some time with her. But I'll see you all again on Monday. Bye-bye.